guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It is my Rita Gay, my Rita Gay, Felidis. And welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. <laughs> y'all this is gonna be real quick and simple because i know you guys came here for one thing and one thing motherfucking only and that's to see this damn okay listen and i got some shit to share um so this is what i use overall y'all see like this bitch you see i lie okay um y'all hear an echo i'm so sorry because i am in the bathroom or whatever <laughs> maya bitch <laughs> but anyways i use boar this is what it looks like, whatever. And I put this on my face, like so. And then this, I wanted to show you guys too because I use this for both my hair and my face. And when I used it, it was amazing. It was truly amazing. I love this. This is called the Indian Healing Clay. And most people should know of this, but just to say a review on this, it's a one day one. I say for people who have dry skin, this. Now, me personally, this is not, <laughs> I don't use this, but I heard good things about it. And I know it's good. You know what I'm saying? Because I do have somebody that does have very dry skin. Me, that's why it's here. And I feel like it does excellent wonders with Hazel. Every now and again, I don't recommend putting it on your face every day, but like a real routine, no, no. And finishing touches, this, this is the ordinary, I'm gonna show you. This is the box, the ordinary. Um, I wanna show you guys really the bottle. This had a bottle look or whatever. It hasn't been that used because it's just like the witch hazel, like don't use it that often. You know, especially for people I said I got like, you know, I mean, no, this is, this is cool, but I say don't, like, I don't know. It's just something about witch hazel, even though it says gentle relief for oily, red, damaged, blemished, or inflamed skin, you know, it's just still like, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. And then same with ordinary, I wouldn't do that either. Um, this, if you want to. This, yes, this, yes. Both are beautiful for dry skin. And story time on this one, I just want to let you guys know. Um, I remember back in like, what? I'm gonna say, what, what, what grade was that? Like sixth grade, like the grades you usually be having, you know, acne and things of that sort. Like I used to break out very bad around like my forehead and my chin and you know over the time my cheeks too or whatever the case may be and literally was nothing working for me nothing and I remember I was watching this one youtuber and she was using this or whatever right and I don't know for some reason some told me see that we I got in there like my hair is Walgreens or whatever the case may be and they had it and ever since the what sixth grade i've been using it no i think it's been, it was the seventh grade so i was like what i don't know but i was young like puberty ages for sure seventh grade is definitely like puberty okay so i basically apply it on my face i usually have uh, i don't even know i don't know <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna just wash this off I contemplate how I feel But you make it way too hard to think That this could be what you love to Alright, I'm done with that I washed my face You see that it's still damp, right? Now usually That'd be it for me Like, I don't see how people have all these crazy ass skincare I don't but this I haven't used in a while. I think it's about time. But do you guys see? I want to put you guys on like a real lighting. Okay, this is my face and you know the lighting, the lighting. Still damn. It dried a little bit because I was doing something, but hey. Okay, and now I'm gonna use these droplets. So usually I put at least like two. 
That's crazy. It says directions apply a few drops to the face a.m. and p.m. before creams. And that's really it for my skincare. And then the Vaseline for the lips, y'all. And me personally, y'all comment if this is y'all too, but I be getting crust in my eyes when I wake up. I really do. I don't like that. So I'll be putting like Vaseline, just like a little bit on my eyelids. Because I don't I don't trust putting anything else other than probably some Vaseline, some, you know. And I put on my eyebrows too. <laughs> I do, y'all. Because I feel like this helps gross. But really, I don't do this often. I don't know. But I do this every now and again. I really do. I swear I do, y'all. And the reason why is because I feel like it really do helps you. It helps your skin. Because even though I remember when I was getting my acne or whatever the case may be, it would be under like the pimples and shit would be under like in my eyebrow circle. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you gotta keep every part of your skin nice. And I put it around my nose too, because y'all, I have like crust, kinda. Not crust, but you know, like in your creases sometimes it could be a little bit, you know. The girls that know, know. The girls that know. And then I throw this bitch on. <laughs> I throw this bitch on. Y'all, this bitch broke as fuck. But I told, I told my girlfriend. She gonna have me new one. No bullshit. And uh, for all my um nose ring people, hydrogen peroxide. I don't have any Q-tips at the moment, so I'm gonna use tissue. I put like this much, just a little bit, y'all. Literally, I'm not gonna show y'all that. Y'all know how much to fucking put. I know. I go around and I kind of go. Sometimes I go in because I feel like, you know, there ain't gonna be no booger or nothing like that. I hope not. Okay, I'm cool. Mm -hmm. And that's my skincare, y'all. Oh my gosh, Black is day seven, period. I showed you guys a good way, an affordable way to have your skin go leveling. And honestly, y'all, to be honest, you don't need this, okay? You really don't need it to look oily. I mean, I guess if you want to, but if you really think about it, my Vaseline is really what did it, okay? And I says, you know, not not talking about my Latinos or, you know, other races, but my melanin skin people, baby, you don't need much to do that to your skin. Stop trying to follow these trends. Stop. Because your skin don't really need that. It really don't. I mean, I guess you can say, you know, sometimes, but really, no. For most people, especially if you have sensitive skin like me, you don't need that much. I'm telling you, this boy work wonders. And, like, everybody's skin is different. So, hey, if you more of a... You know, or if you're more of an ordinary girl, because I know they got way more products than just this, do what fits your face. But overall, if you really don't know, stop trying to follow these trends. Because y'all remember, I tried to buy something else. I think that was like kind of trendy to make your skin look glowy like this. And that shit broke me the fuck out. Like, I haven't been broken out like that since sixth grade. So, be cautious on what you put on your face, my loves, okay? So yeah, that is it for my video. Thank you guys for watching me. Tune in to all my other vlogmas, even though it's probably only just one more or two more because I missed it. But you know, we ain't gonna talk about it. We gonna talk about it. But let's stop the rambling. Love you guys so much. Thank you guys for clicking on to this video, commenting, subscribing, whatever you do. Thank you guys so much. Bye. <laughs>